Hey guys, welcome to the 20th lecture of TTIP series. This is Anushya Kariski and today we're going to study about hug transform. Now hug transform is mainly used to connect disjoint edge points. Okay, let's understand this with the help of an example. Suppose we have an image here. Okay, and uh, we have certain shadings here. Now, if we perform edge detection for this, okay, we'll get something which looks like this. Okay, because this is, it is not always proper. Okay, so you will get all these disjoint edges. Now, let us, let's just look at this part. Okay, let's just zoom into this part. We have something which looks like this right now we want to fill this gap right we want to fill it up but how do we fill it up how do we ask a computer to fill it up okay as humans we can do but for computers it's difficult so that's why let's look at this suppose we have points here and we have these two lines okay this point suppose it is 1 comma 2 and this is 2 comma 3 now if you remember the equation of a line, it was y equal to mx plus c, right? Equation of a straight line where m is the slope and c is the intercept of the line. Now, how do we connect this? What we can do is that, uh, suppose if you take any part, if we take the x, y coordinate, x y coordinate and if we take this point okay if we mark it here then this point can pass through many lines right it can have many lines passing through it right the same is true if we take a line okay so if we take a line suppose this line then there are many points which pass through this line right so if we want to find out if both of these points pass through the same line, what we can do is that this single point, we are going to convert it into a line. Okay, so for now, it is in the xy plane, right? This is the xy plane. So we take this point and we'll convert this into an mc plane from xy to mc plane or cm plane whatever it is called and then suppose this is the line for this point 1 comma 2 and this is the line for 2 comma 3 then both of these intersect which means that both of these are part of the same line right and this point is the mc Okay, the coordinate of this point is MC. So in this way, we can know that both of these intersect the same line. Now, how do we go about doing this? It is very easy. Okay, we just take this equation and we rearrange it. So we take the C to the other side. C equal to minus MX plus Y. So we get this equation and now using this, okay, for the x and y, we just substitute this these points, okay, and that is how we get the values of m and c. And once we get the m and c for 1 comma 2 and the m and c for 2 comma 3, then we can uh, using these M and C's, we can draw the equal, uh, draw the lines, okay, for both of these points. And then if they coincide, sorry, if they intersect, then it means that they are part of the same line. So we can find out if they are collinear or not. Okay. So again, the same thing which I explained right now. Equation of a line is y equal to mx plus c. Okay. Now this is the image space where one line can have many different points. 
right so suppose this is our x1 y1 and this is another point x2 y2 okay so this is the image space now a single point can be part of infinite lines right this point we can mark many lines through it therefore we transform that point in the xy plane into a line in the cm plane okay cm or mc plane so once we do that we get something which looks like this okay so this uh, suppose x1 y1 was our point okay so that was converted to m1 c1 okay which means that we got lines uh, we got a line for this point and x2 y2 was converted to m2 c2 now where these two can form lines okay so when we mark it in the mc coordinate then if they intersect then we know that they are collinear okay so if a and b are two points connected by a line in the spatial domain they will be intersecting lines in the hug space okay now let's look at a question using hug transform show that the following points are collinear also find the equation of the line the points are 1 comma 2 2 comma 3 and 3 comma 4 okay so now first we'll take the equation of a line which is y equal to mx plus c now in order to perform hug transform we need to convert the line from xy plane to mc plane so just as we understood our equation would now become c equal to minus mx plus y now we'll take each of the coordinates and we'll find the m and c values for them so our first point is 1 comma 2 okay and if we substitute this in the previous equation c equal to minus mx plus y then this is what we'll get now if c equal to 0 we'll get m equal to 2 and if m is equal to 0 we'll get c equal to 2 so we're just using the origin points to find out the values for m and c so in that case our m and c would become 2 comma 2 right now similarly if we take the point 2 comma 3 we'll get the equation c equal to minus 2m plus 3 right and if c value we take it as 0 then we we'll substitute 0 in this and then we'll get m equal to 1.5 similarly if m equal to 0 then c will become 3 so this is how m and c value will get 1.5 and 3 now for the third point we have the point 3 comma 4 so the equation would become minus 3m plus 4 and if we take the origin values if we take c equal to 0 then this equation would become 0 equal to minus 3m plus 4 or we'll get m equal to 1.33 similarly if m is equal to 0 we'll get c equal to 4 right so our final values m comma c for this point would be 1 comma 3 3 and 4 now we have our m and c values for each of the three points now on plotting these points in the m c plane we get this graph okay how did we plot these points this 2 comma 2 we took 2 here and 2 here and we joined both of those points 1.5 comma 3 we took 1.5 here 3 here and joined both of those points similarly with 1.33 and 4 we mark those points and join them and now as you can see all of these three lines intersect at this one point okay and this point is coming out to be 1 comma 1 what does this mean this means that 1 comma 2 2 comma 3 and 3 comma 4 are initial points all of these three points are collinear which means that they are part of the same line okay so our original equation was y equal to mx plus c now to get our final equation this 1 comma 1 we're going to substitute in this equation and that is how we get our final equation c 
सो वाई इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस वन एस आर फाइनल इक्वेशन एस अ फाइनल चेक यू कैन इवन टेक ईच ऑफ दीज पॉइंट एंड सब्सटीट्यूट इन दिस इक्वेशन सो सपोज इफ यू टेक एक्स वैल्यू एस वन यू गेट वाई एस टू राइट सो दिस कन्फर्म्स दैट दिस पॉइंट लाइज ऑन दिस लाइन ओके सिमिलरली यू कैन टेक एक्स वैल्यू एस टू विच विल गिव यू वाई वैल्यू एस थ्री सो दिस ऑल्सो कन्फर्म्स एंड इवन इफ यू टेक दिस पॉइंट एक्स वैल्यू एस थ्री यू गेट वाई वैल्यू एस फोर सो दिस ऑल्सो कन्फर्म्स दैट ऑल ऑफ दीज पॉइंट्स लाइ ऑन दिस लाइन दैट्स इट फॉर दिस लेक्चर आई विल सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वन